How's it going everybody and welcome back to another solo slooping video. Season 7 is upon us which means new cosmetics, customizable ships, and stools I think? I don't really know what's going on with the stools. You guys have been talking about them in Discord a lot lately, and apparently they're just a really goofy choice for this game. But let's go check out all of this new stuff and get our custom sloop purchased. And a quarter mil for the sloop, huh? I guess that's not really too bad. Like after one successful stacking voyage, typically you can come out with about that much if you do a pretty good job. Okay, so we are going to purchase our sloop and we have to name it. Okay, 20 characters, cannot contain numbers, cannot start or end with a space, and cannot use certain special characters. And I think we are going to call our sloop Sleepnir. I'm pretty sure Sleepnir is actually a commonly used ship name. If you're unfamiliar with Sleepnir, in Norse mythology, it was the horse that Odin rode, and it had something crazy like eight legs. So today's gonna be our maiden voyage on Sleepnir the Sloop. There she is. Yes. Oh, somebody left a fruit crate and a cannonball crate here. I guess we'll take those with us. Oh, so the shipwright has the captain's voyages. Interesting. Maybe we do some of these today then and just make it all about these captain's voyages. A commission bundle of the ancient veil. Vale. So that must be Athena stuff. Actually, that's perfect. Let's do a bunch of these for the Athena's emissary and then use the sovereigns to sell the loot to Athena's because Athena's is kind of hard to transport all of your loot to anyways. Okay, so do we want Legendary Fortune, Ashen Fortune, or Ancient Veil? Vale? Let's do some Legendary Fortune ones first. I'm guessing the Ashen ones take you to the Devil's Roar and I'm not really trying to do that today. So we'll start with some of these ones and if they go quickly, maybe we will grab some Ancient Veil vale ones as well. Wait, so this says seek treasure for several trading companies and earn rich rewards on this voyage of legends. Okay, weird. I guess we'll put up the Athena's Emissary anyways. I don't really know what's going to come out of these, but we're going to find out. Oh, we have to put a skin on the ship. And we should have a few pieces of the new set from the Plunder Pass. Look at this beautiful green ship for the green faction. Oh, wait, we can't forget the fit either. There it is. That's what we were looking for. All right, let's put one of these captain's voyages down. So the image looks like a regular Athena voyage. Oh my. All right, so we have a lot of distance to cover here. Let's turn around and grab our stuff at Galleon's Grave first and figure out where that needs to go. All right, Tess, what do you have for me? So we're going to wild treasures with this. That is in the general direction we are heading. Where exactly, I'm not sure though. We're gonna have to check the map. So Wild Treasures is to the northwest. I think it's still worth going to. So we're gonna stop by there first before heading west to hit up these islands here. Here are your assorted items, sir. Oh, he has beautiful eyes. Rare really gave you those, didn't they? You, sir, I bet you kill the ladies at your ripe old age. Look, honestly, you're a little bit of a gummer. You know, the lips are receding a little bit, but there's nothing that those eyes can't compensate for. All right, first delivery done. We are off to Lone Cove now. Oh, we got a rowboat right there. Might need to take that with us. Actually, do we need to? I don't think we do if we're dropping everything off at the Sovereign. Well, the real question is actually, where is Charlotte? Because we have to get some stuff from Charlotte here. Oh, actually, Charlotte's right here. I remember now. Hello, Charlotte. I'm going to come back to you in a second after I dig up some stuff. And actually, we have a skeleton captain thing here, too. There's some Athena's loot. Love to see it. Got some stuff on this side over here. Is that a coral message in a bottle? It is. Might have to do that. Really, you're still standing? Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Just go in the rock. Let's see if I can get it to come back in here. Otherwise, we're gonna have to hope we can dig up another gunpowder barrel. Oh, right here's one, thank God, because I don't think the skeleton's coming out. Yeah, I can hear it in there. Let's hope that gets it. I got a hit marker. All right, it's dead. Right there's the skull. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, come on. It's really gonna do me like that. 
Well, I guess we're not getting that skull. Don't you go in the wall too. Stop going in the walls! I will be getting the loot from having to come all the way down into this dumb cave. Okay. This is going to Sanctuary, which should be pretty close to the other places we have to go to, so we can drop this off as well. All right, next up is, why don't we do the delivery to Sanctuary since that's right next door? We do have a Reaper at Daggertooth though, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. Okay, so these are going to the Merchant Alliance rep, which I am currently passing. Come here, Molly. I got a few things for you. Please take these plants, I don't want them. Now we can go back north to Smuggler's Bay. What are we supposed to be doing here? Is it a riddle? Oh no, it is a riddle. Really? Three big boys and an electric one? Is that a bomb barrel right there? You're darn right it is, let's go. That's how you do it. You know what? At least we have a mermaid gem right here, though. Is that another coral message in a bottle over there? You know, guys, with all of these coral messages in a bottle, maybe we turn this into like a ledger run. Maybe at the end we give everything to the sovereigns, but we vote up a different emissary for the specific kind of loot each time. That way we can boost the emissary value for every single emissary aside from reapers. To smuggler's cavern where there is no sky, now raise ye lantern, raise it high. You need help, a clue I'll grant thee. Seek the drunken sailor at the northwest cliffside camp and solve with shanty. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Find the cage of the escaped prisoner where there is no sky. Five paces west, your shovel now worth a try. Okay, this is definitely not gonna be the most profitable run ever. I was not expecting this to be like a regular Athena voyage. Might as well kill this Ashen Guardian since he's here. Um, where was this other one too? Treasury of Sunken Shores. Let's go do that since it's so close to us right now. Oh, these Reapers are running Fort of the Dam together. Well, they're definitely going to be busy doing that, so I don't think we have much to worry about there. The odds of those two reapers looking up here are negligible at best. So this is the perfect time for us to do this treasury. All right, let's get this going. Come on, get near those. Get near the gunpowder barrels, please. There we go. Let's see what we got in Emerald Breath of Sea. I will take that. So next up, where are we going? I guess south to Crescent Isle. Okay, what do we have to do here? Just some digging, it looks like? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, all of these, I'm pretty sure these are on this side. What is this? Firework crate. Okay. I guess we're off to Shrine of Ocean's Fortune now. It seems like these guys have just finished up their first Fort of the Damned run. Neither of them is level five though, so that means they can't see me on the map yet. So I think probably if we're gonna do the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune, now is the time.
We're making pretty quick work of this shrine, at least. It helps that I've ran it about a thousand times, though. What do we got? Ruby Breath of Sea. That's exactly what I wanted. And we've got a chest of ancient tributes for our trouble. No complaints here. Back to the ship. Okay, still looks safe up here. That's good. Let's check on those Reapers really quick and see what they're doing. All right, one's at Reapers selling right now, weirdly enough. While the other, is it plunder? That's very strange. It looks like this Reaper is heading up to the hideout now. For now, we're gonna go south to Discovery Ridge. And then if these guys go back to the Fort of the Damned, then, oh, one just went away. Let's go south to Discovery Ridge and we will just keep monitoring what happens with this other Reaper. This Meg should go away in a second. All right, what are we doing at Discovery Ridge? We have a skeleton order here. I didn't see them anywhere on the main island, so maybe they're over on one of these. I'm just not sure where they're at. There they are. Oh my gosh. That was painful. I think I'm just going to bring the ship around to the loot. I'm not even going to bother hand carrying it. Off to, was it plunder? Yes, plunder. And that should be the last stop, unless this gives us another map at the end, like a regular Athena voyage. Okay, so on to this riddle. Reading this map, a clue you'll see, if at the mark of the blood red hand on the north coast ye standing be. Oh, we've got a captain and a mermaid as well. Is this the Blood Red Hand? Yes, this has to be it. At the wrecked robo on the west beach strike a chord, one step closer to the horde. That's probably right where my ship is now that I think about it. Underneath the stone gate to the north holds secrets untold. Six paces west, dig a fine hole. I'm pretty sure we ran under that earlier. Right about here. All right. Now, do we get an extra map for this or not? Yes, we do. This is exactly like an Athena voyage then. Those Reapers are moving. We need to get out of here before they notice us and figure out where we need to go. Shipwreck Bay. So that's northeast from here. Let's head up north around this island so these Reapers don't see us and then we will head east. I mean, that's either the same pair of ships before, or that's a new Reaper that's chasing the level three. But the good news is, after we get this Athena chest at Shipwreck Bay, we can just go sell. We're not going to be Athena level five for the Athena loot, which kind of sucks, but we have so much extra stuff on the ship, I just kind of want to sell. Yeah, with how these two are angled at each other, they've got to be fighting right now. Look at this. So that's kind of scary for us, because if one of them wins, that might push them to level five and they'll be able to see us now. So we got to do this quick. Oh no, this is not what I wanted to run into. I didn't even notice the ship cloud. Where is the ship cloud? Oh, it's over there. Oh no, double galleys. Oh my God, please don't let this be what does me in. Okay, okay, I get it. This isn't good guys. No, the sail's down. No, 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 no. I just need enough time to get one repair on the sail and then get it moving. Go, 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 go! Oh, thank God. I think they're leaving. Whew! Did we pass where we needed to go? Yes, we did. There it is, thank God. Okay, let's go sell. My heart can't take any more of this. Daggertooth should be right to the north. Hello, my sovereign friends. Okay, everything is kind of separated right now. We will start with the Athena's loot and go from there.
Although this wasn't the most profitable run we've ever had, at least we were able to spread out the loot between different emissaries, and the sovereigns are definitely a welcomed change. They're gonna make it so much easier to sell Athena's loot so you don't have to run all the way up into the tavern every time. We now have our sloop named. How long it's going to be until it gets sunk, who knows? Probably not too long, but we're gonna try to keep sleep near around as long as possible. For now, I think this is where our adventure ends for today. Don't forget to subscribe for even more solo slooping, and I hope you enjoyed.